anymore. They played so many games at this point. I mean, yes and no. Uh, they aren't as green as they were to start the season, but Brooklyn still need a full year to fully kind of learn what it takes day in and day out. Here are the five for the Clippers. George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then it's Harden. And it's Mann in at the two. Now, here's Hananobi. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Here's Pete Vincenzo. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Impressive for Di Vincenzo to not just get the shot off, but he also made it. The next shooting their first foul shot of the game. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding the pieces who should get there where they want to go. Now, here's George. And the game against Chicago, very impressive. Now to five on the shot clock. Leonard, the pass to Zubac. It's tipped, and they are able to recover. And there's the shot clock violation. Who will get the shot off in time? About one minute into the first quarter. Now the pass to Brunson. And the rejection by Harden. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. Brunson against Harden. Now DiVincenzo. 11 points last game. And he jams it with authority. DiVincenzo, he can really get up at And on the at and 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Last out for the Clippers, they won that game against Chicago. Tremendous boys on the offensive end. Overall, they did not settle for bad shots. You saw the box score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that back. Now, Ananobi. Paul George missing from long range. Here's Brunson, and he finishes nicely on the way. Great move there for Jalen Brunson. Flashes. For Los Angeles, they're going over four, missing their first four field goals. George against Ananobi. And here's Harden for three. Buries the long range jumper. And off of the Schneid here, one of five, but that's a big one. For New York, they've gone three of four from the field to start off the game. Thompson with it. Leonard picks him up. Achua kicks to Ananobi. Plays it up off the glass. In early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Harden the pass to George. And the three off target. He really suffocated in there, guys. Just excellent work. Here's Brunson. Pass to Achua. To Brunson. New York moving the ball around. A sign of how the league will handle future conditions. Even Shenzo passes to Hartenstein. Right through the knee for the lead. Dante DiVincenzo with a real nice team first play. Clippers trail by eight. And here's George. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. Master Zubac, the 10 footer. And that one goes long. Knicks on offense. They're on an 11 to 3 run. Pass to Brunson. And here is a chewer. And Nobi finds a chewer. Just five to shoot. Brunson the pass to Hartenstein. That's a five from 18. And here are the Knicks with another bucket. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, dominant so far. That's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. 
Here's left. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. Ananobi against George. It's over Ananobi. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Brunson against Harden. Brunson kicks to Ananobi. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Precious Achua. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And taking a look at the L.A. Clippers, Brent, a team that just keeps coming up short, unfortunately. Well, the Clippers have definitely been more competitive lately, and it's kind of like phase two for them with this group. They still haven't been able to get over the hump, and they have some work to do. Now here's Wilson. A 26-point game for him in the win against Orlando. Here's Brian Chua. The screen intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team play hard. You know who that was. And he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. On to the best, a Harden shot. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assist. Harden looking it over. Lets it go from deep. Drills it from outside. Harden's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Los Angeles. I think mean, there's just no limit to Harden's range, even from way downtown. This guy is a threat to score. Now here's Brunson. He averages over 27 points a game and seems to always find a way to score. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. And here's Harden after Jalen Brunson getting his shot to go from deep. Right side, Lennon. And the layup's good off the glass. You don't want to give Kawhi that kind of positioning. He doesn't waste good looks. Here's Brunson. And the layup is good. Brunson's got nine points. Not a lot of resistance on the inside. And they're taking full advantage. A 15-footer, and it's the Clippers scoring again. That's a tough shot for a lot of people, but PG makes it look easy. Thompson with it. Nine points in the game so far. Here's the pass to Harden. Shoots over Zubac. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Harden kicks to Leonard. The shot by George, wide open. And a miss there on the triple. The Knicks lead by 12. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's got five. Nails it with a hand in his face. He's got seven. Not letting the defense hold that shot back as Dante found a way to get it done. With the step back. Shoots from the elbow. From deep, George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Here's Brunson. On the wing, Ananobi. Harden against Brunson. Fires at the elbow. And there's another one for the Knicks. Great start for him. 4-4. He could be in for a big game. Harden against Brunson. 11 feet away. Harden, no good. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. It's a 13-point game. 
They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And it's just never easy to get stops in this league, but they had a smart game plan defensively, and I felt like that was the difference. Well, good defensive game plan, and then carrying it out for 48 minutes, that really helped them out in that last game. Clippers trail by 15. 17. Harden outside. No good with the triple. Now, Ananobi. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. To the middle. And puts in the basket on the assist by Ananobi. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg. A player that